Welcome to Mishnah Stani Masachat Shabbat Predicted Zain Mishnah Vav. Over here in this Mishnah, we're going to speak about if a Nanju comes to help, he sees there's a fire, and he says, Let me come help put out the fire. Are you allowed to accept his help or not? Right? What's interesting is it's obvious from this Mishnah that we're not allowed to tell a goy to do melacha for us. Right? That's obvious. Right? And sometimes we take this for granted. Um, we're not allowed, right? You can't you can't tell a non-Jew to do a melacha for you. Actually, that's going to be the upcoming Mishnah. The last Mishnah Mispedek is going to speak about this a little bit more. But now we're talking about the fire. Now a goy comes, next door neighbor comes, he sees the flame. So Nukhri Shabbat he comes, he comes to, to put out the fire. You don't tell him, put it out, right? Or you don't even you don't have to say, don't put it out, right? Let him do his own thing. You pinesh and shabita to alahin. Right? We don't. That, it, there's no. There's no. You know, um, commandment for us to have them rest. Right? They're not. You know, we. They're not. They're not. You know, part of our family, part of our property. It's not like a, a slave, an animal. Right? We have an obligation to make sure that they rest. This person is regular. He's, he's a regular neighbor. He's a regular non-Jew. He could do what he wants. Right? So you're allowed. About katan But let's say a minor comes. You have a child. Your little son comes to put out the fire. To, to the fire. In Shomimlo, you're not allowed to listen to him. Sheken Shivita to Alehen, right? Because his Shivita, right, is on them. Meaning what? The Shivita of the of the child, right? The commandment that you have to let your child rest is also your family, everyone needs to rest, and that responsibility is on you. And therefore, if a child wants to go ahead and do it on his own, you're not allowed. You have to actually prevent him. Right, it's interesting, right? Where does this play into, you know, if uh, you know, the child wants to go ahead and, you know, you know, um, you know, turn a light off, he understands, you know, you, you left the light on by mistake, or you want to close the lights on Shabbat, and you say, oh, the kid will do it, and he's going to, you know, you obviously not tell him to do it, but what if he's going to do it by himself? It sounds like from here that you should actually prevent him from doing so, right? You're not again, the responsibility of the child is still on that parent, right? So it's different than the goy in the, in the beginning of the Mishnah, whereas the goy, when he came, the non when he came, we're not, we don't have to tell him anything, right? Let him do what he wants, and that's what the halacha is.